is our first episode of a cold talk horror movie facts hello everyone and welcome to the show how are you all doing this evening morning or afternoon hello how are you guys doing this this whatever time zoned time it is for you guys i'm doing great that's great waffles Spooky evening, yes. Spooky, indeed. We are going to be learning 20 horror movie facts. With a few that I have taken from Morrow, from some of you guys that submitted, and also a few to add on to the already established facts that I have prepared for you guys. I... Some of the facts are facts that I am already aware of or knew beforehand. Some I had to research. So, I'm quite excited to share them with you guys. Are you excited? Are you excited? It's 2 a.m. and I'm at work, but I'm doing much better now. Oh, I'm glad! I'm glad, Frax. I'm glad. Uh, I uh, didn't hear the stream starting. <laughs> I'm waiting for your new song, Shiki. Yeah, I'm releasing a cover on Sunday, Halloween, during the Halloween event that I'm doing. I'm doing a 12-hour stream. More fact number three, number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Number 16, Dairy Queen foot pickle. <laughs> Excitement, same but 4 a.m. Mm. Horror fact, the lewd one dies first. Yeah, they tend to they tend to kill off the sex crazed kids first. Love that for them. Oh, our team random, thank you for the super chat. Cultivating friendships. Yes, indeed. Our first episode. So to explain a cold talk, it is a little Zatsudan talk show with research that I'll be doing occasionally. I remember at debut, I said that I wanted this to hopefully be bi-weekly, but I realize now that I think I'd enjoy it a lot more if I just did it on my own time. Because, like, I... I, like, had a lot of the research prepared a long time ago. And then... I, like, started stressing out about it. Because I was like, oh god, I, I, I feel like I'm just... This is just gonna be a boring thing that... that I'm never gonna get done. Because I'm just so anxious about how people will like it or not. But a cult talk is like a little Zatsudan talk show related to uh, horror, the occult, true crime, pseudoscience, etc. <clears throat> and during my debut, you guys voted for horror movie facts to be the first topic for today. And I'm very excited about that. I love learning little bits and pieces about the production of horror movies or things that went on behind the scenes, etc. Stuff like that. If it was weekly, you'd eventually run out of material. <laughs> I think it'll be like a... Monthly, bi-monthly thing. Who knows? You know, I, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be on my own time. I don't wanna... I don't wanna set a standard that I cannot meet, you know? And I think it'll be a lot more fun if it's on my own time. Hi there, Shiki. I'm excited for the stream. Hello, Vanilla... <laughs> Vanilla verse hello. I'm a little bit nervous today. Because <laughs> I, I talked about this the first day I ever streamed. And so I'm really, really nervous. Uh, I, I want you guys to like this. <laughs> Please do a cold talk as much as you can. I love... Aw, thank you! That's 100% the correct way to do this. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. I think it'll be more fun. And I'll be able to do more research and get more assets prepared. Do you like the assets? that I was able to pull together for this. I think that's very cute. Uh, you can find credits for all these assets in the description, if you so wish. Uh, I was able to purchase them from Gumroad, and some are available for free, on like Booth and stuff. I'm comfy right now and ready to hear about horror as told by a precious doggo. Yay! I'm so excited! I hope that a lot of these are stuff that you guys have never heard before. All right, so, shall we get started? Is gonna pull up our image. So, guys, each emoji on this little on this little chart represents a horror movie fact. And I'm going to go over the titles of these, and then I will put up a straw poll. And you guys will vote for which one that you would like to hear about first, and then I'll keep refreshing the straw poll, and you guys will pick a new emoji after we've gone over one fact. How does that sound? So it's a bit interactive. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> so, the first fact, it, it will be called ZZZ. The second one is Ghost Space. The third one is Chainsaw. The fourth is Leaves. The fifth is Car. The sixth is Camera. The seventh is Smug. The eighth is Alien. The ninth is Child. The tenth is Film. 
The 11th is axe. The 12th is paw. The 13th is flower. The 14th is bee. Uh, I can't count. The 15th is trash. The 16th is toilet. The 17th is violin. The 18th is coaster. The 19th is ghost. And the 20th is guinea pig. Yes, 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 yes. Where's the shiggy one? There is no shiggy one. So I'm going to quickly link you guys to the straw poll. Uh, to do the first... To, to, to vote for the first emoji that we will go over. So here we go. I'm going to quickly pin this. You guys, go ahead and vote. And after a little bit of time has passed, we will choose which emoji we want to go over. So to remind you guys... ZZZ, ghost face, chainsaw, leaves, car, camera, smug, alien, child, film, axe, paw, flower, bee, trash, toilet, violin, coaster, ghost, and guinea pig. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I chose trash because I can relate! <laughs> um, let me read some super chats while we're waiting. From Fake! Hi, Shiki-chan! Good to see you again. I hope you've been having a good Spooktober. Thank you, Fake, for the super chat! I've been having a great time with you guys. We've been doing lots of spooky stuff lately. Thank you. And from Herbert. Hey, Shiki, hope you're well. You two might have banned me for some... for super too much, but I just... but I want to be quiet. Oh, no! I hope you're okay, Herbert. But thank you for the super chat! <clears throat> And then another super chat from Kill a Smile. Horror facts are scary, but not horrible. <laughs> that was funny. I commend you. Thank you, Killa, for the super chat. And the Grizzly! Member for two months. Thank you for being a member for two months. What's your favorite scary movie franchise? That's a hard one. I don't know if I'm attached to any particular franchise. I'll have to think that over. I'll have to think that over, most definitely. Oh, Leah only welcome to Kibble Bits. Enjoy your acapellas, emotes, and members-only streams. All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over the results now. <coughs> I'm going to check here. So the results. All right, guys. It looks like we are going to go over Ghostface first. We're gonna go over Ghostface first. Oh, Cat! Stream fun's looking good already. No doubt you'll nail, 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 nail this. Anxiety be gone. Thank you, Cat, for the super chat. All right, we're gonna go over the ghost face fact first. Let me just eliminate this and let's find it. All right, I've got my trusty whiteboard over here. Let's wheel it in, shall we? Shoom! Shoom! All right! <clears throat> it is here! So, the first fact. Scream was it originally set to be titled Scary Movie. But after hearing Michael Jackson's Scream, the Weinstein brothers ultimately decided to change the title. This is probably also what sparked the name for the popular scary movie parody movie franchise! Yeah! Little bit of an origin for Scream and Scary Movie, actually. How are we feeling about that? Whoa, yeah! Yeah! I recently rewatched Scream because it was a part of the, the 31 Days of Horror movies that we were doing over on the Twitter event. I love that. I think the first Scream movie is definitely the... my favorite. I really enjoy the third one as well, even though it's not as well, uh... It's not as well received as the first one. What's up? <laughs> I really enjoy the scary movie, uh, parody movies. Uh, I don't know if they've aged particularly well, but I enjoyed them. Uh, I think I remember hearing about that one. It is fitting. Yeah! I actually was not super aware of this fact until I was looking at, um, some research material. I thought it was interesting. Kind of goes hand in hand, you know? Oh, from Hyano. Hi, Shiki. Did you know that there was a really cute doggo on your stream? Also glad to see that you're doing great. Thank you, Hyano. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you for thinking that I'm doing great. <laughs> Who knew so much would be different if Scream was actually doing that? No, seriously, for real. I feel like it wouldn't have the same impact had it, you know, remained a scary movie. And maybe scary movie, like the parody franchise, wouldn't exist in the first place had they never renamed it. You are doing great. Thank you! You doggo wear. I only see a cat. I'm not a cat! Woof! Woo! Dude, is she keep getting a <laughs> What? Did you know Scream was inspired about a real serial killer? A lot of movies are, uh, based on a serial killer. There's actually a fact I have, uh, on my wi trusty whiteboard here. For later on, if we get to that fact. 
sometime. I, well, we're gonna get through everything, but like, there is a fact about um, a serial killer who sparked a lot of inspiration in a lot of horror movies. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, BGM reminds me chills. Yes, so uh, my friend Isaac, he made me this BGM special. He completed it all in like a day. He's crazy, you should check it. He's in the description. He is a musician and he is in the description if you'd like to check out his work. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. I'm going to quickly get rid of Ghostface. Oh, Nazlis! Upgrading membership to Shiki Snack. Thank you so much for upgrading your membership. We don't have quite any rewards right now for Shiki Snack, but thank you so much for the extra support. I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna reset the poll. Reset poll. And I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna edit it to get rid of Ghostface. All right, I'm gonna save changes. What the heck? Why is it still there? How do I delete an option? <laughs> How do you delete something from Straw Poll? Strange. Save changes? Okay, guys, apparently I cannot delete it from <laughs> Straw Poll. So. I'm just remember that we've already gone over Ghostface, okay? We've already gone over Ghostface. I'm gonna reset the poll again. Now, everyone, go back to the poll that is uh, pinned in the chat, and we will rework the voting to see what is next. Let me just quickly get out a notepad so that I make sure to not repeat anything. Ghostface, all right. Chat be trolling this like ghost face again. I'll beat everyone up in chat. Oh, Bill has tipped $25 to Streamlabs. Hi, Shiki. Today is my birthday. And I just wanted to say thank you for bringing so much happiness and laughter during a very difficult time in my life. Thank you for being you. Oh, Bill, happy birthday! And thank you so much. Thank you so much for the Streamlabs dono. I really hope that today is an amazing day for you. I'm glad that I could help in some way. Thank you. <clears throat> Shiki, you realize some people will be into that? Then I will king shame them. I'm not afraid to king shame. I totally didn't choose Ghostface. Well, now we have to look at the results, everyone. Oh, God. Okay, so. The next fact that we are going to bring up is the smug face. We are going to look at the smug face. I hope you guys are excited for this one. Remember that fact I brought up? during my debut. Some of you remember because you were there, but not a whole lot of people from my debut are here currently. So, let's wheel it in, shall we? Here it is! An Antichrist, Willem Dafoe's appendage, was described as confusingly large and so intimidating for others on set that they had to get a stand-in appendage for him. His pee-pee was so big that it was intimidating for the others on set. <laughs> so now you know that Willem Dafoe has quite the impressive, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> what a chat, <laughs> massive pee-pee. <laughs> Damn, I wish I didn't know that. Well, now you do! I think it's a fun fact. I think it's a very <laughs> fun fact. I thought you meant his arm. You should have specified no. It's his pee pee. If I meant arm, I would say arm. I'm trying not to get demonetized. <laughs> Green Goblin's got true big pee pee energy. Yeah. Yeah. This movie was also in my 31 Days of Horror Movies uh, Twitter event. Mm mm mm. Now I have another random fact to spout at strangers. Yeah! <laughs> he has a big pee-pee! <laughs> Prison Project Energy? Yeah. Man. I wish Willem Dafoe would debut with us. I think that'd be pretty baller. Demonetize RTA! They called him the tripod. <laughs> Let me just mark down this fact for you guys. Smug is officially off the list. Let me reset the poll. Reset. All right, guys, time to go back to the poll and vote and vote. Let me just get rid of this. 
let's bring up our chart again. I got a nice little crystal to point to with everything. The, fe the smug face did not disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys voted that as one of the first ones. Never thought I'd be in a live stream where a VTuber talks about a man with three legs. Yeah. Crazy. Just talking about the circus. No, I'm late. Don't worry! We've only got over two facts. Don't worry. Up from Keanu! Xenomorph's come out of the event and is standing in front of you. He surprisingly confesses love for you and wants to do ha lewd hand-holding. Answer? Oh, you kind of put me on the spot, Keanu. Hmm. I gotta think about that. I think I think that's something I'll have to think over. Because I, I don't want to say the wrong thing, you know? I, I want to make sure that it's, it's the perfect moment, you know? I gotta think about that. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Coffee before hand-holding. True, it has to be romantic. You can't just go balls deep on the first date, you know? VTubers talking about appendages is the more common that you think. <laughs> Clippers are waiting! <laughs> oh, Jack's Hammer! Thank you for being a member for three months. Nothing scarier than an intimidating appendage. Happy, er uh, happy early Halloween, Chiggy. Thank you for being a member for three months! <sighs> Balls deep, Chiggy, in her quest for not being demonetized! <laughs> Alright, let's check the results for the poll. All right, so toilet. Toilet seems to be the fact that you guys want to learn about next. Ooh, what could this be about? Shall we find out? Toilet. Where are you? There you are. Da 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 da. Psycho was actually the first American film to ever feature a toilet and the first to have a toilet flush sound. Americans were hella suppressed. Wait. This is supposed to say Americans were hella repressed, not American was. Americans were hella repressed in the 50s and 60s. So it was completely... So it was a completely new thing for films back then. Sorry, I did this at like 5 in the morning. <laughs> uh, yeah! It was the first American film to ever feature a toilet in flush sound. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry for all the typos. I did this in like the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm from Jazz. I won't be here for Halloween, but I'll try. But thank you, Shiki, for streaming. You always make my days better. Oh, Jazz, I'm glad! And thank you for the super chat. Also, another fact to accompany this one. Um, what was it? I'm trying to remember. Oh, and Carrie. And Carrie, the high school is named Bates High after Norman Bates and Psycho. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A little, a little, uh, a little reference, if you will. Mm mm mm. I didn't know the toilet is the secret weapon back then. Yeah. <laughs> After that, toilets became tradition. Yes. Now we see toilets all the time. In fact, we even see people using them. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> uh, damn toilets didn't exist before movies. That's crazy. Shiggy, <laughs> uh, what's your favorite month of the year? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Probably... Probably October or November. I really like fall. I really, really enjoy fall. Oh, from Herbert. Wasn't the Flintstones the first show with a couple in bed together? Non-sexual. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew that. Also, thank you for the super chat. Nothing scared more than Japanese folklore than <laughs> toilet. Did Psycho inspire the videos with the one cup and two females? Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was the that was the toilet fact. Let's bring it back around, shall we? Let's move our crystal. Let me just reset the poll for you guys. All right, guys. Start voting. Start voting. Start voting. Start voting. <laughs> toilet. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. <laughs> Shiki reading comments backfired. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a conversation! Ooh. 
two girls, one cup reaction stream. There is actually so much controversy surrounding two girls, one cup. I remember I went on a whole like escapade researching it because there's so much like legal stuff revolving around it. And there's like a rumor that like one of the girls in the video died or something, but that turned out to not be true. And like people think that like all of the stuff in it was real, but when like he that the director was like asked in like court or some shit when they were investigating, he was like, no, it was chocolate ice cream. But like there's no like real confirmation for like anything. <laughs> but like is it, it, Anyway, let's stop talking about that and let's check the, the poll uh, results, yeah? All right, it looks like Alien is the next fact. Alien is our next fact, so let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Where is it? These aren't in order. Okay, there we go. Dun dun dun! dun! The actors from Alien were genuinely terrified by the chestbursters. They were only told something along the lines of, something will emerge. Like, no big deal, my guy, don't worry about it. So, the reactions for that scene were 100% genuine terror. They didn't tell the actors exactly what was gonna happen, so when it happened, they were like... <laughs> I know this fact. Yeah, I think it's a pretty well-known fact uh, about Alien. Yeah, 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 yeah! Alien is one of the best horror films of all time. Yeah, it was! I recently rewatched it. It is also a part of the 31 horror movies that I have been watching. OMG, like in Jaws, they didn't let the actors know who was going to be pulled under. I hope they get paid well. Oh, wow! I didn't know about that. Rip William hurt the chest burst guy. Still need to watch Aliens. Aliens? Oh yeah, the sequel. I remember nothing about aliens. I remember Alien, Prometheus, and Covenant. <laughs> Maybe it's only because Ridley Scott directed those. <laughs> oh, from Kyoto! Shiki, you're like an alien movie. You make my chest burst. Aw, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. And thank you for the super chat and the coffee. Lead singer of Korn has a microphone designed by the same guy who designed the Cedo. Oh, wow! That's so cool! I think, uh, I read that the, the person that actually played, like, the xenomorph in the movie, Alien, like, in the, the outfit, I think he was literally, like, 6'7 or 6'9. He was an incredibly tall individual. Very, very tall man. He, unfortunately, is no longer with us, though. I think he was an artist as well. An artist from Africa, I think? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he was very tall. Shiki is like the xenomorph, a giant murderous parasite. Cough, cough. I mean, hot. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Kikin. I'm gonna take a sippy of water in three, two, one. They are filming a new Aliens near where I live. Oh! Ooh! Excitement! And thank you for the super chat, Herbert. That's exciting to know about. All right. Let me just quickly mark off Alien. And let's get rid of this. And let's bring back our little chart, shall we? Alright, guys. I'm going to refresh the poll. Now! Go on and vote! Did you choke? No, I just needed some water. Wait, murderous Shiki, where did you hide the bodies? At a hog farm. Then they'll never find you. The pigs will eat you. Get rid of any dental records that are there. Anyway. Hey, Shiki, what are some of your favorite Halloween slash horror movies? Sorry if you said so before. I'm curious and making a list. Mm. <clears throat> I really like Wreck. I really like found footage as a genre. I also really enjoy Lake Mungo. I know it's not perfect, but it, it was a really captivating uh, found footage horror film for me. Uh, I also really love Ari Aster's work, so I really enjoyed Midsommar and Hereditary. Uh, what's another one that I really enjoyed? It's so hard, because I feel like I enjoy horror a lot, but also feel like that there's a lot of bad horror movies. I really enjoyed The Silence of the Lambs. As well. <clears throat> An alien, of course. Oh, The Evil Dead. The 
Evil Dad is definitely one of my favorites for sure. Oh, Marthe! Member for three months. Thank you so much for being a member for three months. Oh, snap, three months. Yeah, thank you, Marthe! Did you see the new VHS? No, I have not yet. I keep asking my friends if they want to and they're like, Oh, it doesn't interest me. <laughs> so I might have to watch it on my own. Oh yeah, Suspiria! Suspiria is pretty good. Daytime horror is amazing. I really enjoyed that about the summer. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't seen any more of the rec films besides the first one, so I've got to check those out, but I hear they're not good. Definitely not the third one. <clears throat> There's a new VHS. The other ones were great. Mm -mm. My main experience with horror is music involving horror-inspired lyrics. Oh, like uh, Kikuo. She keeps cutting out on my screen. Internet sucks. Sorry about that. You two might be doing a bad. You might have to refresh. What if watch along? Watch along for what? We sometimes do watch alongs here. <clears throat> All right, let's check the results of the poll, shall we? All right, chainsaw. Chainsaw is the next fact that we're gonna go over. So let's quickly look at the, uh, let's look at the little graphic for it real quick. Uh-oh. Where am I? <laughs> Chainsaw! Right here. We're gonna look at that very quickly. All right. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun! All right. The actor who played Leatherface, Gunnar Hansen, had to wear three-inch heels to make sure that he'd tower over the rest of the cast while filming, which made chase scenes incredibly difficult. I can only imagine. But pain is beauty, I suppose. It's crazy, though, because Hanson was already a whopping 6'4 without the heels. So those added an extra three inches, meaning he was 6'7 while filming. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah! Yeah, so, like, the chase scenes must have been really hard for him. I feel like the taller you are, the harder it is to walk in heels as well. Crazy, man. Yeah! I was, it was really interesting hearing about this fact. Imagine if instead of heels, they just had him in moon boots. <laughs> Real life Hagrid! <laughs> so that is why they chase so slow. I guess so! Wish I was that tall. <laughs> oh, from Herbert! If you like horror, have you read HP Lovecraft stuff? I know you've seen Color Out of Space, though that was updated to make sense in post-2000. Thank you for the super chat! And I have never personally... Well, I take that back. I feel like I've read some of HP Lovecraft stuff, but... It was a very long time ago, and I don't think I, like, processed it properly. But I would like to. It might be fun to read some stuff on stream. You know, minus what he named his cat. <laughs> yeah, Leatherface has a thick mask, too. Yeah! That must have been hell to film for him, for sure. All right. Let me just eliminate Chainsaw from our list. Chainsaw. All right, and let me refresh the poll for you guys. Resetting. Now, go and vote for your next emoji. I no question, but does anyone know if the new Invisible Man by Bloomhouse was any good? It was really good. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the new Invisible Man movie. Please watch it. Lots of good actors, actors, for sure. Oh, Marthe! Imagine the moon boots instead of Leatherface towering over them. It's just boing, boing, boing while they scream in fear. <laughs> That's a very funny thought. Thank you, Marthe, for the super chat. Have you seen Cloverfield? I have! I, uh, I enjoyed it a, a little bit. I wasn't crazy about Cloverfield. Oh, Reanimator! I haven't seen that in a while. I think the last time I watched that was in a hotel with Bao, but I don't think she was paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, Invisible Man. Mm -mm. Thanks, Shiki. I'll check it out. Yeah! If you come back to the chat, please be sure to let me know how you feel about it. Shiki, have you seen Sleepaway Camp? Of course! Quite some time ago. The shortest stories are the best for streaming, I'd say. As a thought and the likes, while the longest are good to read over several days. Mm, I see, I see. Cloverheels are a real hit or miss. Yeah! Yeah, it is. Have you seen Hell House? Yes! I've seen Hell House LLC. It's one of my favorites, actually. I haven't seen the sequels. But I really enjoyed the first Hell House LLC. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. My friends were like, oh, it's so slow. Shut up. I'm okay with slow burns. 
I'm totally okay with slow burns, but a lot of my friends really hate slow burns. Yuna, Yuna hates slow burns. She hates anything that has a slow story, but a good ending. She's like, oh, so boring. <laughs> You aren't missing much by not seeing the third one, Shiki. Oh, I see. Gotta do homework, Shiki. You're just too entertaining to leave on the background. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, KK Nitro. I hope your homework goes well. But yeah, Hell House first one was actually one of my faves. Yeah, it was really good. What's your favorite animated horror movie? I don't... I don't think I've seen too many of those. Hmm. <laughs> That's Yuna, all right. Yeah, she's, she's a very action-packed person, you know? Oh, from Kill a Smile. I want to see a, a, a spoof horror film where the killer chases you in tap dance shoes. That would be funny. Also, thank you for the super chat. All right, guys. Let's check. What is next on our agenda? Let me just pull up our little chart again. And let's see what you guys voted for. Violin! We are going to go over to the violin now. All right. <clears throat> where is it? I know it's here. Oh! Dun, da, 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 da. Insidious was filmed in just three short weeks. They were incredibly efficient while filming. Another fact to add on to this is that 33 violins were used for the incredible introduction screen of the film. I guess three is a very significant number for the film, actually. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Really, really quick filming. Really, really quick filming. Super duper efficient. And the violins, I will never forget the first time I watched Insidious and had, like, that opening scene with all the violins playing. It's so captivating. Very terrifying, also. Speedrun! <laughs> Insidious, I peed my pants. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sippy in three, two, one. <sighs> three, 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 the mark of efficiency. And also... The Witching Hour. <laughs> I really enjoy the Insidious series. I feel like a lot of the movies... I, well, not a lot, but quite a few of the movies fall flat while others really, really shine. I enjoyed the second Insidious film a lot. I remember we did a watch-along of the first film like two months ago? Something like that? Oh, Herbert, as mentioned earlier, Reanimator is a good movie. The story is based off is where I got my name. Oh! It's been a while since I've watched, so I don't <laughs> remember names. But thank you for the super chat. All right, guys, let's just wheel away our little shit. There we go. <laughs> Let me just refresh the poll for you guys. All right, get to voting. Isn't that technically James James Wan's third horror film after Saw and Dead Silence? So there's another three that's c that comes up. Oh, oh, wow, that is very interesting. Shiki, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate watching horror stuff with us? 10! I love watching horror stuff with you guys. Whether it's like spooky videos or like horror movies. I actually, uh, I want to set up like a watch along with you guys where it's YouTube videos. So I'm thinking of doing a stream where we use the, the site watch together. Where everyone will be synced up. And I want to watch a lot of analog horror stuff with you guys. I think that'd be really fun. I'm going to take a sip of water in 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> yeah! I think it'd be really fun! Shiki, has there been a horror movie that you waited for so long but ended up disappointed? Yeah. <laughs> and it was for something that I feel like I should have been disappointed in? Because it was M. Night Shyamalan. But also, he's done a good movie before. He's done a good movie before! But then he just let out a bunch of disappointing shit. And I was excited for old. I really enjoy... Like, I was really, really excited for old. Right? And it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> I feel like it had such a good, like, premise. But it was so bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Okay, guys, I'm gonna check the results. Oh, the Paul fact. All right, the Paul fact. Sorry if you hear that crunching. I have a. Hmm. Sorry, it's a cough drop. Pa! We 
have a little kitty paw right here. I guess you guys are excited for that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. <clears throat> Let me quickly bring that out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, from Hyono. Avatar The Last Airbender is the most terrifying horror of all time. <laughs> I actually haven't seen it. At least I don't think I saw it. I might have seen it a long time ago, but I don't remember anything about it. The live action, I just know, sucks. All right. And the original Pet Cemetery, the cat church was played by seven different cats during filming. Another fact to accompany this one is that King originally didn't want to publish Pet Cemetery because it dealt with grief within a family, the grief of losing a child. He thought it, that it was like far too gruesome to put out there, but eventually it was published. He still finds it to be his most disturbing work. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. Seven different cats. Seven different cats. How do you find seven identical cats? How? Especially back then. <laughs> So strange to me. Far too gruesome. There was a lot worse out there. No, for sure. I think that he just like... He just thought it was too much for a child to die. You know? Maybe he's a family guy. Maybe. If you want a quick read, Minutes Max of some Lovecraft, Night Gaunt is on Wikisource, public domain too. It's a short poem based on Lovecraft's nightmares as a kid. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Thank you for telling me. Do you like the original Pet Cemetery or the remake? I am pissed off that I spent money on the Pet Cemetery remake. I'm so angry I spent money to see it in theaters. That was awful. It was dog shit. <laughs> I definitely prefer the fucking... The old version. This remake was so bad. <laughs> it eliminated things that made sense. Like... The kid. Like... <laughs> I just don't... It was bad. <laughs> It was so bad! <laughs> it was really bad. Do not recommend it. Do not. Absolutely do not. It was horse shit. It fucking sucked. <laughs> ah, oh my god. Alright guys. I'm gonna refresh the poll. Resetting! We have reset the poll! Now let's write down cat. Alright. Ah. Hi, Shiki. Hi, Bakaroni. Welcome. Shiki raging is definitely something to behold. No, but Pet Cemetery 2019, was it? It was awful. It was so bad. Fucking suck. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh, Uibagi. Thank you for being a member for three months. Thank you so much. What the dog doing? We're going over horror movie facts. Yeah. So watch along the Pet Cemetery meeting. I was just be so angry the whole time. Let's do it. <laughs> Pet Cemetery maybe hits home for King. The family in the novel reflects his family. Ah, oh, true, true. That's probably why he was like, I don't know if I should publish this because like, it's like putting his own family's like loss. Even though he didn't lose like a kid, it would still be like losing a family member almost since he based around his family. <clears throat> Watch bad movies and don't be pissed challenge. That would be fun. That might be fun. Let's watch all my least favorite movies. <laughs> Everyone asks what the dog doing, but never asks how the dog doing. In this case, the dog rage. <sighs> Here's a fun horror fact. I've watched Darkness Falls at eight years old and couldn't sleep for two weeks. Isn't that the like tooth fairy horror movie? Right? <laughs> so we rewatching all of God. Maybe. <laughs> that might be fun. Yes, yeah, I saw that when I was really, really young too. Sorry for the random like mouth opening stuff. That just means I'm coughing. Oh, Husk, thank you for being a member for three months. Spent three months with our favorite doggo for three months plus. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm not watching Birdemic. <laughs> oh! How about we check the results for the poll, shall we? <clears throat> Looks like child. A child. 
has won! We are going to look over at the child fact now. No one be creepy. All right. Where is it? All right. Da -da -da -da! Originally, the kid in the movie Omen wasn't going to be named Damien, but Domlin, after an annoying child that the screenwriter knew and disliked. But his wife talked him out of it because that would have been a major dick move. <laughs> So yeah, he wanted to name the kid after a kid he fucking hated. But then his wife was like, no, don't do that. That's mean. <laughs> so they decided against it and they named him Damien, which I feel like is a very nice name. Shiki, what do you prefer? A bad but entertaining movie or a good but boring movie? A bad but entertaining movie. A bad but entertaining movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I felt about Malignant, but I felt like Malignant was being bad on purpose. Like, it, it was one of those films that was supposed to be really stupid, and it was. I think it did it on purpose. So technically, it was a great film. Can a boring movie really be good, though? I don't know. Would you call, like, a slow pace film, like, a boring film? Mm -mm. I'm gonna take a sip of water. <clears throat> Kid would have probably felt famous. Man, his parents would have probably fucking sued them. Because <laughs> they would have known. They probably know that, like, the, the, the screenwriter, like, was working on the film. And so when they made the devil child named Domlin, they would have been like, oh, How could you? <laughs> oh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes would be a fun watch along, actually. Alright, guys, I'm gonna reset the poll. Reset poll! Alright, get to voting, guys! Get to voting! Chiki, do you know any horror movies that are dog shit but are entertaining? Malignant. <laughs> Malignant. Oh, Zombievers is fun, too. Zombievers. <clears throat> Which would you prefer, a horror that uses anticipation or a psychological horror? Hmm. Probably anticipation. I like psychological horror, but I feel like I prefer it more as like... Like an anime? Like monster? But uh, for movies, I feel like anticipation is the real thing for me. Mm -mm. How about Attack of the Killer Space Clowns? I haven't seen that in forever. I haven't seen that in forever. Malignant is a $40 million trophy. <laughs> That's why I love it so much. Yeah! <laughs> it was stupid, but it was fun. All right, who here would watch a movie called Spleen Eaters from Venus? That sounds very interesting. Shiki, do you like gore kind of horror movies? Yes. I think I really enjoy movies that have really good practical effects. I think that I get mad when the gore isn't very realistic. Like, when you can tell it's, like, CG blood. Or, like, really fake blood. I... I commend people that make gore look very realistic in horror movies and such. Whew. All right, guys! Let's see what's on the menu. Let's refresh those results. Guinea pig! All right, this is one of my favorite facts. This is one of my favorite facts. <clears throat> In the early 90s, a film critic by the name of Chris Gore gave a copy of the second film of the guinea pig series. It was like, it was like one of those movies in the like 80s uh, that was very, very gory. It was very shock factor, like in the like video nasty era. And guinea pig 2, and it was called guinea pig 2, Flower of Flesh and Blood. And he gave a copy to Charlie Sheen. You know, you know who that is, two and a half men, whatever. After Sheen watched the film, he was entirely convinced that it was a snuff film and reported it to the authorities. This caused the FBI to start an investigation on the making and distribution of the film. <laughs> I love this. I love this one. It's so funny to me. <laughs> ah, so funny. Yeah. I definitely would not recommend watching uh, Flower of Flesh and Blood if you can't handle a lot of gore. I watched it quite a long time ago. 
Uh, but yeah, if you're really sensitive to gory things, then I would not watch it. Mm -mm. Sorry, sorry, I'm more just amazed that not only is there one, but two horror movies named Guinea Pig. Yeah, there's actually a whole series. Hold on, I'll check how many movies there are. Guinea Pig films. There's actually also, uh, a, uh, they're actually American remakes. So originally they're Japanese horror films. They're Japanese horror films, but there's also American remakes. So the film series has, um, Devil's Experiment, Flower of Flesh and Blood, He Never Dies, Mermaid in a Manhole, Android of Notre Dame, Devil Woman Doctor, and then they have a slaughter special, and they have a making of documentary, and yeah. I think they have some American remakes as well. I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <clears throat> yeah, there's like six films. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, if you like realistic gore, did you like The Void, the 2016 with all the practical effects? I actually have not seen that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, geez, these names are something else. <laughs> Man, the cover sure looks realistic, does it? I haven't, I don't, I haven't seen the cover in a while. Mm. Devil's Experiment is the best one. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I've seen the first and the second one. Have you heard of Midnight Mass? Yes, I actually just finished watching it. It was really, really good. If you're looking for a good short horror miniseries, watch Midnight Mass. But if religion makes you uncomfortable, don't watch it. All right, guys, let me just quickly refresh the poll. Reset. Let me just, all right, guys, get to voting. Let me just quickly pull this back up for you guys. <clears throat> Whew. Midnight Mass is so good. It was so good. I cried. <laughs> I cried a lot. <sighs> I like uh, movie shows with creative scenarios like the Saw series or Squid Game. Yeah, I really like the Saw series. I have all the Saw movies on DVD, actually. Ooh, Crypt TV watch along! That would be so fun, actually. Let's do it, guys. The last movie that spooked me was the Centipede one, only because I can imagine the spell. Yeah! I remember the second one upset me because of something that happens in a car in the second one. Babe Saw movie? Probably the second one. The second or third one, I think. The B fact is probably the very B Vincent does not like jazz. Shiggy, what's your favorite vampire movie? Uh... Probably... I like... I like both the, like, the European one and the American one of let the right one in, or let me in, basically. Now, least favorite Saw movie? I thought the first one was boring, actually. I mean, I don't know. Did you watch Spiral yet? No, not yet. I haven't gotten the opportunity. I didn't know it was out. That's a good one. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think about Dead Space? Oh, so I actually plan on trying to play Dead Space for you guys. I think that'll be next after Alien Isolation, actually. Mm -mm. Have you ever seen Society? Do you mean like THE Society? Like the Netflix show? I recommend a Thai movie called Coming Soon. Gave me nightmares for days. Ooh, I'll look into that. I love Thai horror. It's so good. Thai horror is really great. Alright, guys. Let's check the results for those polls. Z, 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 Z is the next one. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let me quickly pull that out. Da, 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 da. A Nightmare on Elm Street was actually based on news articles about Cambodian refugees refusing to fall asleep due to nightmares. Many of them ended up dying in their sleep of unexplained causes. It's got to make you wonder. Yes. Yes, this was an interesting one that I didn't know previously. Very, very interesting. Very much so. Sorry, my mom was letting Bepper out. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of water in three, two, one. <clears throat> 
One, two, Shiki streaming for you. Three, four, membership gets you more. <laughs> Reminds me of the Russian sleep experiment. Oh, yeah! That was very ex exciting to read about. <laughs> ah. Reminds me of Catherine. Oh, man! I kind of want to play Catherine on stream for you guys one day. Oh my, now we know Freddy is real. I guess so! I guess so! Let's get rid of that fact and let's refresh, shall we? We are resetting the poll! Now! Go, go, go! And vote, guys! Z, Z, Z! Well, we've already gone through eight facts. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. Let me know how you're feeling about the show. Have you guys seen It Follows? Yes! It was actually part of my 31 Days of Horror Movie stuff that I'm doing on uh, my Twitter event. It's fun. Yee! Yay! I'm glad! I'm really glad. Oh! Please play Catherine on stream. Thank you, Herbert. I will consider it! I will actually ask management if I can. That'd be really fun. Oh, Tabak! I can't remember which ones we've done. Refresher? Oh! So, we have gone through, uh... Ghostface, Smug, Toilet, Alien, Chainsaw, Paw, Guinea Pig, and ZZZ. <clears throat> oh, true, Atlas. Atlas is a bitch. I forgot. Oh, God. Sorry, I got a hiccup. If anyone from Atlas is watching this, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Get ready for lots of edge from the future Catherine stream. <laughs> I'm gonna rage so hard if I somehow... If I somehow get permission to play. <clears throat> Whew. My dad works for Alice and I'm gonna tell him, No! Have you seen Green Inferno? Yes, I actually saw it in theaters. I laughed a lot. Especially at the end. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Let's check out what the winning result is. We have B! 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 B. <clears throat> Where is B? B! In the original Candyman, Tony Todd did have to put real bees in his mouth for that scene. He had a mouth guard in to prevent the bees from being swallowed, but he was stung multiple times during filming. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, yes. Also, uh, in Candyman, Virginia Madsen was actually really hypnotized for some scenes so she could, por like, portray her trance authentically. So she was really hypnotized for those scenes. Mm -mm. The dedication for real! Tasty, tasty bees. I must take their honey. Nah. Woo! I'm gonna take a sippy of water in three, two, one. <clears throat> Mad respect for Tony Todd. No, for real. Tony Todd is so cool. He's such a good actor. I love Tony Todd. The average grunt. Yeah, B. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. All right. That was our B fact. Let's just get rid of that. Let me just turn on our image again. Oh, there we go. Let me reset the poll for you guys. The poll has been reset. Go, 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 vote! I've never seen Cats. I've never seen Cats the movie. Ever. Ever. Never. I feel like it'd be out of character for me to watch it. Maybe Nia should do a watch along of Cats. There's a Green Inferno game? What? Can the four paws at the bottom be an option? No. No, they cannot. So we are watching Cats tomorrow? No! <clears throat> no! Have you heard any of John Carpenter's recent music? It's real good. I don't... I don't think I have. Nia would love Cats. She sure would. Have you seen the Netflix Dracula miniseries? I have not! I didn't know there was one! 
Have you heard of Poly Playtime? Oh, yes! I'm playing that on my Halloween stream on Sunday. We will be playing that on Sunday. Within the first few hours of the stream, actually. Have you seen Slither? Yes, I have seen Slither. I enjoyed it. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Never worked for me. Yes, when I was 11. Never again. I will never use a Ouija board. Ever again. Do you like Sam Raimi horror movies? Yes, I do. I do. I love The Evil Dead. Shiki, what's the scariest film that isn't in the horror genre? Revolutionary Road. <laughs> I don't care if it's not a horror movie. It's... It was a horror movie for me. It's a drama film with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's... It's just... Imagine the American dream going downhill so hard. I... Revolutionary Road is scary. I don't care what anyone says. Revolutionary Road is scary. I never want that to happen to me. Never, ever. Never. Alright, guys. Let's see what you guys voted. Car! We had the car fact. Woo! Alright. We are going to go over to the car fact. Let's do this. <clears throat> Da, 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 da. When actress Betsy Palmer took the role of Pamela Voorhees in Friday the 13th, it wasn't because she was particularly interested in the movie or even horror as a genre. She said, I desperately needed a new car. If I hadn't needed a car, I don't think I would have done Friday the 13th. <laughs> she really said, I needed that paycheck. I'll do anything. And she did it. And she did it. She did what she had to. She got that new car. Oh my god. <clears throat> wow, savage. Betsy Palmer is the goat. No for real. <laughs> Let's look at the car facts. <laughs> have you seen Unfriended or Host, the original, uh, the online horror movie? Yes, I have seen both. I really enjoyed Host. It's literally only an hour long, but it's so good. It's actually what made me subscribe to Shudder. By the way, you guys should check out Shudder. It is a streaming service of... A streaming service that is legal that has horror movies, horror TV shows, and podcasts. Sometimes they have Shutter Originals, and it's really, really great. I one day want a sponsorship from them so badly. <laughs> Extra fact, Betsy Palmer refused the same role in Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Let's... Let me reset the poll for you guys. We are resetting the poll. No! Go, go, go. Vote. 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 Ooh. Oh, I forgot to write down some of these. There we go. <clears throat> so just as a reminder... We have already gone through Ghostface, Smug, Toilet, Alien, Chainsaw, Paw, Guinea Pig, ZZZ, Car, Child, and Bees. So Freddy's a simp. <laughs> Shiki out here doing a sponsor read without even actually getting paid for it. No, yeah. I want to be sponsored so bad by Shudder. So bad. I want them to acknowledge me. Don't even give me a sponsorship. Just acknowledge me. Please, I love your service. A buddy of cut up and ate a Ouija board. What? That's the thing for the super chat. <laughs> Shiki, are there any saw facts on the sheet? No, unfortunately, I couldn't find any about saw. Oh god, I hit my microphone. Sorry about that. Has the doggo been to any Halloween events like the one at Universal Studios? No! The most I've been to is, like, a haunted house when I was in, like, middle school. Shiki, have you seen the movie Virus? It's about an alien virus that's, uh, that infects humans, making them turn themselves into grotesque cyborgs. No, I've actually never seen that before. Shiki, what scared you a lot as a child? Clowns! 
My parents, for some reason, had clown decor in my bedroom when they were still married. And I, I think I like took it all down. I think I made them take it all down when I was like three, four, whatever. I was just terrified of them. But now I think I'm pretty okay. I think I'm pretty okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's refresh those results. Next, we have Flower. Oh, God. Where is it? Where? Here we go. We have the Flower Fact. Let's do this. Flower. Where is it? I wish this was easier. <clears throat> Here it is. Dun dun da Baby Chase, the voice of Lilo from Lilo and Stitch, is also the little girl, Samara, from The Ring. She played uh, the live action Samara. And also voiced Lilo in Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> so now, you can imagine Lilo coming through your TV and killing you. Seven days. <laughs> Yeah! I love Lilo and Stitch too! It was one of my favorite, like, movies and shows. I really enjoyed the TV show with them trying to find all of the aliens. Mm -mm -mm. That's nothing new! Uh. That's how you sound. <laughs> Not everyone knows these things! I'm gonna take a sip of water in three, two, one. <clears throat> Can I pop my knuckles? Just a little bit. Got him! I'm gonna take a sip of water in three, two, one. Ah. All right. Let's go. Where is this? Gotta get rid of this. Let's see. Oh, wait. That's not it. There we go! Alright! I'm gonna reset! Reset the poll! Alright guys! Get to voting! Uh, from Hyono! I hate to leave midway, but I can't wait to see your stream on Halloween. I'll definitely be there. I love Amelia. Thank you for the super chat. It's okay to have bad taste. I meant I had a nightmare like that once. Oh, sorry for misunderstanding. I was just trying to be funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I realized that came off pretty bad. It's okay, karma. Misunderstandings often happen. <laughs> If you thought I was actually upset at you for that because of the misunderstanding, I was not. <laughs> I should have specified. No, you're fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> have you read the ring manga? Is there a ring manga? Hmm. I voted for myself. Trash. <laughs> Shiki ever written horror? I don't... I don't think I've ever written a scary story before. Hmm. Frenzy doggo mall sarcastic viewer. No! It was a misunderstanding slash joke. All right, guys. Let's check the results. We have trash. We have... Trash! Trash. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Paranormal Activity was one of the most profitable movies ever made with a budget of only around $15,000 and made back around $195 million, which meant that $13,000 was earned for every dollar that went into making the film. Speaking of, Steven Spielberg owned a copy of the film and believed it was haunted. Apparently, when he brought the film home to watch, his bedroom randomly became locked from the inside. 
He even brought it to work in a trash bag because he didn't want to touch it directly. Uh, Blair Witch is kind of in a similar, uh, like vein in that it was one of the most profitable movies of all time because the budget was so low that it made back so much more money when it came out. Mm -mm. Oh, from Jack's Hammer, a stream where Shiki writes a horror fanfic of the Xenomorph win. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I don't know. I'm, I suck at writing. I'm oh, from John. I heard trash. You called for me, ma'am. No, I didn't call for you. Thank you for the super chat, though. Oh, Meteor Tit. Uh, head pats for Bep or Bep is Chuck and your new Chihuahua Cross. Unless that is Chuck and I somehow thought you had four doggos. Also, give Shiki Mama a hug from us. Oh, thank you, Meteor! I have three doggos. I have three doggos. Chuck is my Chihuahua. Amazing. I'm underrated. Also, Tyler Gregoire, I just want to take another moment to apologize if I came off seriously. I got a little too into the bully zone. I swear I'm not upset. <laughs> Doggo owns doggos? Yes. Let me just... Where is this one? The trash one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let me just eliminate this. Flower... And trash. <clears throat> Alright. Let me refresh the poll. Resetting the poll. Reset poll. All right, guys, get out there and vote. I'm from Wild Nexus. A cat friend told me you like Rim over Amelia. I had to immediately stop by. All I have to say is it's go to okay to have amazing taste. 100% agree, Shiki. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat and for having good taste. I appreciate you. Thank you, Wild Nexus. Shiki the Chat Slayer. No! Now everyone's gonna think I'm a bully. Have you posted pics of doggos? I posted a pic of their snouts, but I don't want to dox my doggos. They're very sensitive little ones, you know. The one time I bully my chat back, I feel bad about it. I'm sorry. From John, I heard bully. Rule number 12, always eat the waffle when you see him around. Thank you for the super chat. Herbert, we love bullying cute doggo even if Dragon Wife is asleep. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. And for Meteor, please stop encouraging her hot takes of cool treats. Wow! Wow! They're not hot takes if I'm correct. Thank you for the, the super chat though, Meteor. I'm from Kill a Smile. Now I'm hungry for waffles. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. All right. Let's see. Let's see what is next. Refresh results. Coaster! Our next is Coaster! Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Coaster. Dun, da, da, da. Final Destination was originally an idea made for the show X Files. An extra fun fact to add to this is that the film. is that to film the roller coaster premonition. The premonition! I can't speak. To film the roller coaster premonition scene in Final Destination 3, the actors had to ride a real roller coaster approximately 26 times to get the footage necessary for the film. I just know they were hella dizzy. I just know. <laughs> X-Files theme plays. Ah! Here's a scary coaster fact. When people don't use them for their drinks. <laughs> Final Destination 3, Loki, the best one in the series. I like the second one best, but I really enjoy the third one as well. I think I own the third one on DVD, actually. 26 times, bruh. Probably all within like a day as well. <laughs> you can actually find the script of the X-Files version? Wow! Damn. That's interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna refresh the poll! All right, guys, get out there and vote! It is in the pin, the pin of the stream. Let me just write this down. We have gone through coaster. 
Let me quickly bring up the image again. So far, we have gone through... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 facts! We only have 6 left, guys! We've gone through 14 facts and we have 6 left. I thought you meant cup coasters? No, we were talking about roller coasters, sorry. Do you consider Final Destination a scary series? Yes! <laughs> the concept of it is quite, uh, scary to me. The concept of, like, you cannot cheat fate. Like, you cannot cheat death. Is very scary, so, like... I'm scared that one day I'm gonna be in a near-death experience. Like, a near-death experience, and then... I'm just gonna be on edge the whole time thinking that I'm gonna fucking die. Any day now. That's not a cup coaster, that's a UFO! <laughs> Could you draw X's over the ones we already covered? Oh! Um... I don't think I can draw... ...in here. I don't think I can draw... ...in Streamlabs OBS. Cause this is like an asset. I apologize. <clears throat> I should've made that available somehow. Cause I don't think it's an option to do in Streamlabs OBS. I don't think there's like a draw tool. In Final Destination, for the logs that fell off the trailer, they were initially rendered to match actual physics, but didn't bounce enough, like at all, so they had to make them bounce. Oh, I see! I can't mark them. There's no, like, draw tool. <clears throat> Do you have a favorite Crypt TV episode slash series? I... I actually can't remember <laughs> if I've watched it at all. I feel like I have, but I don't remember. I... Have a shitty memory when it comes to, to like, media. Can put the X... Can put text of X over it? Yeah, but then I'd have to, like... Make individual X's for every single one. And then... Uh... Get rid of them every time I bring out a new fact and I'd have to do it individually for each and every X. So I'd rather not, because it would be a long time to get through for each and every fact. All right. Let's check the results. We have the axe fact. The axe. All right. The axe right here. All right, guys. <clears throat> Dun -da -da -da! The color red is present in almost every shot of The Shining. Another interesting fact about the film is that the director, Stanley Kubrick, didn't even look at the screenplay that Stephen King, the original writer, made for the film. He described King's work as weak and instead worked on the screenplay with writer Diane Johnson. Yes. Also, it took about a year of technical work to get the blood pouring out of the elevator just right for the like that super iconic scene in The Shining. But it only took about three days to film once they were able to consistently achieve the desired effect. Also, the little boy who played Danny in The Shining was so guarded by Stanley Kubrick during the filming process that he did not know it was a horror film until many years later. He has since abandoned acting and gone on to become a science teacher. Mm -mm. Imagine being called shit by Kubrick, how can you recover? <laughs> I hate it when movie directors neglect the original work. Yeah. Kubrick was known to be kind of a jerk as far as I remember. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole, apparently. I remember what happened to Shelley Duvall. I feel so bad for Shelley Duvall. She went through so much shit. I hated that for her. Ah. This man was trying to dethrone the king. Kubrick, the Steve Jobs of movies. Jesus. All right. Let's get rid of the axe fact then. Where is it? I know it's here. All right. Bye, axe fact. Let's quickly bring back up our image and let us reset the poll. All right, guys. Go out there. 
And vote! So far, we have gone through alien, chainsaw, paw, guinea pig, ZZZ, car, child, bees, flower, trash, coaster, and axe. I feel like I missed some because I didn't see all of them in, in order. <laughs> I read that Jack Nicholson had major issues with his co-lead, so the scene with the door and the axe is probably not a lot of acting required. Also, Jack Nicholson only ate, like, cheese sandwiches the whole time, which was his least favorite food. He ate his least favorite food the whole time they were filming because he needed to be as irritated as possible. <laughs> ah. Here's something scary about axe. Using too much of the body spray. I like the way that axe smells. I bet, you know... Someone's gonna clip that, and it's gonna sound like I said I like the way ass smells. I can feel it. I can feel it in my veins. I can feel it. No one do that. I know you will. But one day. Misery breeds results, good or bad. No, yeah. Well, if that's what you want! <laughs> Ooh, Old Spice is a very nice, like, scent. You gave us an even better reading! <laughs> Alright, anyway, we're gonna look at the results. Leaves! We are on leaves! Beautiful fall leaves. Alright. Dun da da da! Because Halloween needed to be released in fall, they needed to film the film in spring which doesn't have proper fall colors naturally. In order to give the movie the proper ambience, production designer Tommy Lee Wallace personally painted dozens of bags of fake leaves to spread all over the exteriors of the set. So when you're watching Halloween, you might notice that like the trees are like green, but the leaves on the ground are like yellow. So you might see that in like the background of stuff. <laughs> he personally painted leaves to make it seem more fall-like. Mm-hmm. So, like, the leaves on the actual trees are green, but the, the set leaves are yellow. <laughs> I really enjoy that fact. Oh, also! Uh, the mask that Michael Myers wears in Halloween is just a stretched-out, whitewashed Captain Kirk mask from Star Trek. Set your phasers to creepy. That's what the article said. <laughs> also, uh, John Carpenter and Deborah Hill wrote the entire script in just 10 days. 10 days! That's pretty incredible for me. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to mention this when we were talking about Psycho, but like, um, both The Hollywood Reporter and Variety published spoilers for the film Psycho months before it was released, despite Hitchcock's best efforts to keep the ending a secret to the film. So, Psycho was spoiled long before it came out. <laughs> I forgot to bring that up when we got to the toilet one. Alright, guys. So that was the leaves fact. Let me just bring this back. And let me reset the poll. I have reset the poll. Go, 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 and vote. I think all we have left is a uh, camera, film, a uh, uh, ghost. Is it just three more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we have four more. What was the last one? We need to go through ghost. Film. Camera. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we've ar we've already done violin. Okay, we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17. Okay, we just have three left. Hmm. All right. Let me refresh the results. 
So next, we have Ghost. We have Ghost. Let me quickly just get rid of this. Ghost. Okay. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> the skeletons they used in the pool scene of the original Poltergeist were real skeletons. And the actress from the scene didn't know they were real until after filming. They claimed that using the real corpses were cheaper than making fake ones. To add on to that, only one child actor from the original Poltergeist is alive to this day. The other two died tragically. In fact, five actors from the film all died within 20 years of the film releasing. Four being within the first and second film were within... Four being within the first and second film releasing. Films releasing. People very much believe that everyone involved in the filming are or were cursed. They actually wanted to make a documentary about the supposed curse surrounding the film. Yes. Very interesting fact. <clears throat> I remember in 2015 they were talking about making the documentary surrounding it, but I think it didn't go anywhere. Probably out of, like, respect for the families, you know? Mm-mm. What do you expect from using real corpses in your movie? Yeah. Yeah. This is why you never dig actual human skulls. <laughs> I think I have another fact to add on to this. What was it? Oh. Uh, while filming Poltergeist, Robbie, uh, the little boy, really got choked during a take by the robot clown doll. It wasn't until that little boy, boy like, turned purple that Spielberg realized what was actually going on. He was like, oh shit, he's actually choking. <laughs> he's actually being suffocated. Uh, he's actually being choked by a doll. Could be worse, it could be the Twilight Zone movie. So do you buy into the Spielberg was the real director of Poltergeist conspiracy theory? What? What conspiracy theory? Wah. Choked by a doll, man. They told me Chucky was fake. By the way, the new Chucky TV series is really good. The one that's on sci-fi? I think that sci-fi is actually posting all the episodes for free on YouTube to watch. So, if you ever want to watch the new Chucky TV series, it is on YouTube. Mm -mm. Oh, Meteor, thank you for the super chat. Spielberg, are you choking? Are you choking? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Kibble Bits. Enjoy your acapellas, emotes, and members only streams! Alright, guys. I think we just have two left. We have camera and film, right? Yeah. I think we just have camera and film. Alright, guys. I guess that we don't need to vote anymore and we can just go in whatever order we wish. So, I think I will do camera first. Let's do camera! Where is it? Oh! Dun da da da! The actors were constantly filming each other in the Blair Witch Project. Using GPS, the crew directed the actors to locations marked with flags or milk crates, where they'd leave their footage and pick up food and directing notes. Each plastic canister there contained notes on where the story was going for each actor, who would not show the other two their paper. From that point, they were free to improvise the dialogue provided they followed the general instructions given to them. Also, another thing, uh, it only took eight days to film The Blair Witch Project, and Heather Donahue actually was scared that the director was trying to film a snuff film uh, to make the tension between the, like, the actors authentic in The Blair Witch Project. The directors also gave them less and less food each day that they were filming. So, they were kind of starved. <laughs> <clears throat> Highly improvised, yes, it was very much improvised. How did they do ring takes? I guess they didn't. <sighs> That's a bit messed up, yeah. At least it, it felt pretty authentic. I still prefer the 2016. <laughs> <laughs> the script was gotcha. <sighs> Geez, some of these films took extreme measures, yeah. 
They don't quite do it like they used to. <laughs> I can't get my mind off internet horror for some reason on that night. You watched Marble Hornets, it's so good. Yes! I have watched Marble Hornets! I've, uh... I've, I've seen Marble Hornets or at least been to a place where they have, like, uh, had... They've talked about, uh, their stuff live. Yes. Yes, I love Marble Hornets. Very much so. All right. So, our last fact of the night is the film one. Dun, 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 dun. There was a convicted serial killer and body snatcher that inspired several major horror movies and television series. You may have already heard of him, but his name was Ed Gein. He was also referred to as the Plainfield Ghoul and the Butcher of Plainfield. His crimes inspired characters from the movies Psycho, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Silence of the Lambs, and even a character in an American Horror Story, Asylum. I'm sure there are many other forms of media that drew inspiration from his famous and awful crimes. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about earlier. The one that inspired a lot of movies. His crimes were very much inspiring for filmmakers, I guess. Didn't Ed Gein only kill one lady? What? <clears throat> How can he be a serial killer if he's only killed one person? Let's see. Ed Gein. Gathered widespread notoriety in 1957 after authorities discovered that he had exhumed corpses from local graveyards and fashioned trophies and keepsakes from their bones and skin. Gein also confessed to killing two women. What? So I guess most of the shit is like necrophilia type stuff and other grotesque things that he did to bodies. <clears throat> hmm. He made as many as 40 nocturnal visits to three local graveyards to exhume recently buried bodies while he was in a daze-like state. On about 30 of those visits, he said he came out of the daze while in the cemetery, left the grave in good order, and returned home empty-handed. Hmm. I see. He died at the Mendota Mental Health Institute due to respiratory failure secondary to lung cancer on July 26, 1984, at the age of 77. Over the years, souvenir seekers chipped pieces from his gravestone at the Plainfield Cemetery until the stone itself was stolen in 2000. It was, re it was recovered in June 2001 near Seattle, Washington, and was placed in storage at the Walshara County Sheriff's Department. Hmm. Huh. I see. Necromancy? No. Necrophilia. <laughs> Serial killer is more about an MO, a ritual he completes, not really large number of kills. Oh, I see. <clears throat> they said I shouldn't kick shame anyone, but... Um... Yeah. Yeah. But though, even though he killed two people, I wonder if there were, like, other unconfirmed kills that he did. Because, you know, like, when serial killers go around, they only find so many bodies most of the time. Or they only confirm some of the, mur some of the murders most of the time. Never the, like, true number. I think that was true with, like, Jeffrey Dahmer as well. Actually, uh, Windigoon has a very fantastic video on serial killers. If you'd like to check him out, he is a fantastic horror and true kind, true crime VTuber. Not VTuber, he's a YouTuber! <laughs> that would be interesting if he was a VTuber. But I love Windigoon, he does horror, true crime, and, uh, iceberg type videos. He is excellent. I love Windigoon. Did you see the Zodiac Killer news about how they found him? About how they found him and he was already dead. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> that reminds me in Windigoon's video where he was talking about serial killers that came up to the Zodiac Killer and all he had to offer was a picture of Ted Cruz. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Siki, do you watch Dead Meat YouTube channel? No! I have not actually. Eat the body and the bones, can't find what you... what you eat. Yeah, true. That's why so many, uh, killers... 
take their bodies to hog farms so that the hogs like chew up their skulls and their their teeth and so there can't be like dental confirmation. Haha. <laughs> Not really a horror movie fact, but during the Cold War, the U.S. lost 32 nuclear bombs and never found them. What? That's a little sussy. That's a little sussy. The Zodiac Killer also liked Weezer. How do you lose 32? Oh my god. Thought they were water cans. <laughs> Ah. Alright guys That's about all that we have to go through On today's episode of A Cold Talk Did you guys enjoy this? I'd really like to uh Do this again I think next time it'd be really fun to talk about like Icebergs with you guys Wouldn't that be fun? We could analyze an, uh, an iceberg For something like serial killers Or maybe we could do conspiracy theories Or cults Things of the like I think that'd be really fun We can go over stuff and research it together I think that'd be very very fun I had so much fun Great stuff Icebergs would be amazing Yay! I'm glad! Thank you so much! I'm glad! I was so glad I was so worried about the stream <laughs> Oh from Windbag The FBI estimates that between 25 and 50 serial killers Are active in the US at any given time Yeah that seems about right I would be too if I were in this country I mean what? Anyway, thank you for those super chats. <laughs> that would be cool. Thank you. Oh, creepy pastas. We're actually uh, reading no sleep stories and creepy pastas this Halloween. Uh, it'll be a part of my schedule uh, for the twelve-hour stream event on Sunday. Now, anytime someone shares something they're passionate about, it's good times. Yeah, I had a good time. I had a lot of fun, like looking this kind of stuff up and putting in stuff that I already knew. Finding out new stuff is always fun, for sure. Secret cheeky scheme stream, no! <laughs> I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. My favorite being Crime Junkies, if you'd like to look them up. And also Windagoon. Please check out Windagoon. I love his stuff. Can we send you facts or... Oh, wait, 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 before we go. Um, I forgot to check Marshmallow. So, because I need to check if anyone submitted any horror movie facts. And there are, there are two. Let's read those before we end, shall we? All right. Let's see. Horror movie fact. One of my favorite pieces of trivia about Shaun of the Dead is that the movie is constantly foreshadowing itself, the most obvious example being the first scene in the Winchester where one of the characters tells him about the night out they are going to have and actually just spoils the whole movie entirely in drinking references. Bloody Mary, the checkout girl in the back garden, bite at the king's head, Philip, the couple, David and Dee, Little Princess, Liz, Stackerback, Impersonate Zombies, uh, Bar for Shots, Firing the Rifle at the Winchester. That is interesting. I really enjoy Shot of the Dead. I really enjoy Shot of the Dead. Uh, all right. And then there's another that says, all right, so I'm a massive Halloween nerd. So the directors had no intention to make a second movie at first, and in turn, the mask was treated horribly on set. And to top it all off, when shooting ended, the mask was given to screenwriter Deborah Hill, who was a heavy smoker. She kept it under her bed in a shoebox. So when the sequel began shooting, the mask came back yellowed and with fading paint from years of collecting dust. You can even notice the yellowing in the movie, but yeah, sorry this was so long. Thank you guys for your facts! That's interesting. <clears throat> Rip his mask though! Rip! Rip that Star Trek guy. Thank you for your facts, guys, that submitted. Wait, I think I missed a message that I want to read. What was it? Oh, Shiki, any recommended past streams for new followers like me? Um... Ooh, you should watch my hot monster tier list stream. I think that's a fun one. I really enjoyed doing that one for sure. What would you guys recommend? What are your favorite streams that I've done? What would you recommend to a new viewer, guys? I would like to know. What has been your favorite stream thus far? Paul Eve! That was one of my first ones! I'm 
actually getting a highlight made uh, for the Hot Monster tier list that our, our local KK Nitro is editing. It should be done pretty soon, I think. Which is house corpse party shilling. Oh yeah, guys! What's the prism? The Prison Project Shilling Stream! Then you can know everyone within Prison Project. I'm actually getting a highlight made for that that I should be uploading soon. You'll get to meet everyone from my company and see what they're all about. Mm. Let's see, the tier list stream. Mm -mm. Horror story reading one. Oh yeah, that was one of my favorites too. I had lots of fun reading scary stories for you guys. Thoughts are done, streams are very comfy. Yeah, we kind of get to know each other. Actually, um, for November... Uh, since, you know, the whole month is kind of centered around being grateful for what you have. I think November, I want to be really chill with you guys. Because, you know, it's been a pretty, like, action-packed month. And I'd like to just chill with you guys. So I think I'll do a lot of chatting streams uh, during November. I think I'll do some more tarot streams for you guys. Some more community stuff. I want to do a few watch-alongs. I, I just want to, you know, have fun and talk with you guys a lot. I think that is what the theme of next month is going to be. Just spending time with chat. Having a good time. Not distracted by anything else. Just talking with you guys. I think that'll be fun. Yeah. So I think that's what that's all that's going to happen. If you can, I can personally say if you're interested, read the Fazbear Fright story from FNAF. Their collections of short horror stories are really good and some are honestly horrifying. Ooh, thank you, Alexander. That's an on project. Let's go. Yeah! I think I'll start doing that. Mm, maybe after 100k. Because I want to, like, keep up the, like, hype train right now. Hopefully we make 100k pretty soon. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to uh, this coming month. And especially the next few days. We're going to have so much fun. Tomorrow we are playing Phasmophobia with Bao, Sho, and Finana. And then on Saturday, we are playing Left 4 Dead 2 with Gen 3. And then on Sunday, on Halloween, we're doing our 12-hour Halloween event. I'm so, so excited! We're gonna have so much fun! It was a fun discovery with a random YouTube recommendation for the Lillium cover a week or so ago, and now I'm here. Well, welcome! I'm glad you could find me! I'm glad you could find me through Lillium. That was one of my favorite covers I've done. Oh, Meteor BRB making 3.7k new accounts. <laughs> Wait, Finana? Yeah! Finana, Bao, and Cho tomorrow. We're gonna play Fast and Cool B. I think all of us will be streaming our perspectives. Finana and Cho are definitely gonna carry me and Bao. We're probably gonna be crying and dying. A whole lot. And Cho's probably gonna make fun of us. Yep. Cho and Bao have been, uh... Good friends of mine for many a year. Like, five years? We've been pretty close-knit friends. We're all a part of the same, like, close-knit friend group. It'll be my first time, uh, collabing with Finana, though, so I'm really excited. Really, really excited. Actually, it's my first time collabing with Bao and Sho, too. But I often talk with Bao and Sho, so it'll be, like, the first time I talk to Finana, like, properly. But I'm really excited. I'm very excited. My little sister's super excited for the Fast Move will be in the Halloween streams. Oh, that makes me so happy! This might be a little far in the future, but have you thought about a possible Animal Crossing stream? Yes, I want to, but I'll have to buy, like, a big Switch. Like, an actual Switch Switch, because I have a Switch Lite. I need to get an actual Switch so I can get a capture card and stream. I really... I'm so excited about the new Pokemon remakes, by the way. I'm so excited. I hope that I hit 100k by then so that I can take a whole week off to play Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. When Sh Sword and Shield came out, I did nothing but play Sword and Shield. Oh uh, man, I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon so much. It's one of the only games that I can really binge. <coughs> Basmo keeps having more challenges. Yeah, I think we're trying out the new map. Like the new update. Tomorrow, I'm really excited about that. Ugh. Would you consider streaming Majora's Mask and doing a Ben Drowned reading? Okay, so I'm not interested in Zelda, but I am reading Ben Drowned on Sunday. On Halloween, we're going to be reading Ben Drowned. Yes. Did you see the new Zodawa and Zodawark they are adding? Yes, they're so cute! Uh, I don't know if I can stream uh, Pokemon. Uh, I know that we've been able to stream Pokemon Unite, but like mainstream Pokemon games, I don't think we have... 
Permission. We have Nintendo permissions, but I don't think we have permission to play mainstream Pokemon games. Like, I don't think we would be allowed to. Japanese copyright law, you know? Oh, John! Thank you for the Aqua Super tip! <laughs> Switch funds! Thank you, John! <laughs> Meteor! Switch funds! Thank you for the tip! Thank you, guys. What is a Souls game? Ooh. I'm gonna take a sip of your water in 3 to 1. <laughs> yes, I'd love to see your island. It'd be so fun to have like a pumpkin... A pumpkin island visiting stream. Oh my god, that's so fun! <laughs> I wanna do that! I would have to restart my island. That might be better for me. Restart the whole game. You know, if I get a new Switch and restart Animal Crossing. I think it'd be super fun to restart. And then we could do a pumpkin island visit and I could give you guys little gifts and stuff. That'd be so fun. Wait, Pokemon has islands? Uh, oh, we mean Animal Crossing. Sorry. <laughs> Cheeky playing Dark Souls would be interesting. I never want to play Dark Souls. Never. I think I would die. I think I would die. <laughs> if you do get a full-size Switch, thoughts on doing Mario Kart... <gasps> oh my god, you're so right! You're so right! I've always wanted to play, like, Mario games with people! But I never had the opportunity! That would be so fun! I wanna play Mario Kart! I've never played Mario Kart! I wanna play Mario Kart so bad! I wanna play Mario Kart so bad! I also wanna play Rumpa. Decadence... Slice of Life games, so I can experience all my... All, all my... all my people, without them being dead... Mmm, <laughs> stretchy. <clears throat> There's another VTuber I know who had the same opinion of the Soul series. After a subathon, she's been sucked into the pain. <laughs> Boy, you'll never catch me doing a subathon. Uh, because there's no such thing as like sub stuff on YouTube. <laughs> There's memberships, but you can't gift memberships here. I wonder if you could stream Jackbox with other VTubers. Oh, yeah, I've done that with Gen 3. We've played Jackbox together before. Chiggy, what's your dream Pokemon team? All Appleton. And one Snubble. The dream team. All shiny Appletons, by the way. And one Snubble. Shiki, did you ever watch Chinibio? Yes, I did. I really enjoyed the second season. Ugh. Appleton for the win. It's my favorite Pokemon! Also, Leoli, thank you for the super chat. Ugh. No room for Snom? Ah, Snom isn't my favorite, though. Ugh. All right, guys. I think I gotta head off for now so I can prepare for bed. Yeah! Thank you guys. Oh god. Oh, oh. So, sorry, something started falling. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, since we were talking about collabs, any luck scheduling with Ollie? Uh, she's really, really busy right now. I don't know uh, if we can schedule anything. She's really, really busy. I don't wanna. I don't wanna bother her about that kind of thing. Plus, she's been going through a lot, so I just like. I want her to do her own thing. She's been doing a whole lot. <clears throat> if anything, I kind of just want to like... Casually, like, talk to her. And like, play stuff with her. I want her to teach me Apex. <laughs> I want to teach her Fortnite. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Oh yes. Uh, but... I think I'm gonna head over to the Super Chat screen. And thank you guys again. And then, uh, we will head off for the night. Thank you guys so much for coming out to my first episode of A Cold Talk! I have so, so much fun! I think next time we'll do an iceberg stream for A Cold Talk. I think that'd be super fun. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Thank you so much for coming out. Okay, guys! Let's go to... Wait. That's not the right place. But now we're here! <laughs> Alright, let's read Super Chat! Thank you so much, RTM Random! Thank you so much, Fake. Thank you so much, Herbert. Thank you so much, Killa Smile. Thank you so much, Cat. Thank you so much, Hyona. Thank you so much, Herbert. Thank you so much, Hyona. Thank you so much, Jazz. Thank you so much, Herbert. Thank you so much, Hyona. Thank you so much, Herbert. Thank you so much, Herbert. 
Thank you so much, Marthe! Thank you so much, Killa Smile! Thank you so much, Herbert! Thank you so much, Yona! Thank you so much, Tabak! Thank you so much, Herbert! Thank you so much, The Average Grunt! Thank you so much, Windbag! Thank you so much, Yona! Thank you so much, Jack's Hammer 8! Thank you so much, John! Thank you so much, Wild Nexus! Thank you so much, John! Thank you so much, Herbert! Thank you so much, Meteor! Thank you so much, Killa Smile! Thank you so much, Fabio! She gives the... the what? What does that mean? Oh, cinephile. Okay. Okay, I thought... I thought that was a bad thing. Like, you know... You know... <laughs> thank you, Bobby! <laughs> oh, thank you, Meteor! Thank you, Win. Thank you, Meteor! Thank you, Leoli! And thank you again, John and Meteor, for your tips as well! Thank you guys so much! Alright, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for Phasmophobia! I'm so excited. Thank you guys so, so much again for coming out. I had lots of fun, and I hope you guys learned some new facts. Alright, guys. I will see you later. Bye for now!